Thank you for having us today. Um, as an initial matter, I'd just like to say I'm not going to speak very long. Uh, I echo everything Senator Fogarty just said. I completely agree with him. Um, I, too, sent a letter a little bit late this afternoon, so you may not receive it until uh, tomorrow. Uh, I ask that that letter be marked. <coughs> it will be so marked. Thank you. You know, I, I come here tonight to stand shoulder to shoulder with so many of my uh, constituents, but they're more than that. They're my neighbors, they're my friends, uh, in some cases their family. When we hosted a power plant nearly 25 years ago, they examined over 80 places for that. In fact, one thing the Senator did say is they examined this very spot, and they determined that it was not a good spot back then. So the PUC should keep that in mind. It should be a more thorough analysis of where another power plant, if in fact another power plant is needed, should go. Um, I know that Invenergy sold to the ISO market only 500 megawatts of a proposed 1,000 megawatt application. That right there tells me that the market can't bear this project. And if the market can't bear this project, then we shouldn't be able to post it. This is proposed to be a total of two conservation areas, almost 77,000 acres of state preserved land. As the Senator said, DEM has praised this land for what it is, one of Rhode Island's last great natural resources. And when this commission is consider considering need, you should also consider the cumulative effect on the community. We already host the power plant. This site is already uh, where a, a gas compression station is. These people have done enough. This is more than Nibia's. This is their home, and we shouldn't take it from them. With that, I know there's a lot of people here to speak tonight. Uh, I ask that the committee please consider my opposition. Thank you. Thank you.